Asus is one of the few brands to deliver consistently excellent Windows notebooks. Its new ZenBook reinforces that reputation, but the price is going to make your head explode. The NX500J is a sight that behold as long as you keep the lid closed. It has the unique surfacing that Asus has always used in its ZenBook line, but without the somewhat strange purple hue found in the previous models. It's also extremely functional. It has plenty of USB 3.0 ports and it includes HDMI out. There is no Ethernet, uh, but that is an option with a USB adapter. And 802.11 AC Wi-Fi is included standard. Yet things start to fall apart when the lid is opened. These silver keycaps feel a little cheap in chintzy and they don't look as good as the black keycaps that were found on previous ZimBooks and are also found on the Apple MacBook Pro. Also not sure about this speaker design, which is found on either side of the keyboard. It looks all right, but it may not age well, and we're worried about crumbs and other debris getting lodged into that speaker. That said, sound quality is loud and clear because the speakers are directed up at your ears whereas some competitors have speakers on the bottom of the system and that can muffle sound quality. The screen is what really sets this ZimBook apart from both previous models and other systems. It includes not only 4K resolution, but also quantum dots, a technology that enhances the color gamut of conventional LCD displays. Its beauty may not translate well to our video, but our tests confirm it's by far the widest gamut and most accurate color of any laptop we've ever reviewed. Now, there are a few problems with the display as well. The first is glare. The screen is bright, but even in an office environment, it's not enough to overcome the glossy panel. It's more reflective than even a MacBook Pro, which we compared to the NX500J side by side. We also noticed the gamut is so wide that it overblows some colors, which can make video and games sometimes have a sort of unreal neon look. It's eye-catching, but not exactly ideal. There's beefy hardware in this system, including an Intel Core i7 quad-core, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a PCI Express solid-state drive, and GTX 850M graphics. The hard drive is the real star as it hits sequential read speeds of over 1,000 megabytes per second, files and applications load in seconds. The GTX 850M is nice to have as well, but it struggles to play games at full 4K. We can't call the NX500J a good value though because it's $2699. Acer's Aspire V15 Nitro Black Edition is quicker and it's $800 less. There is an area where Asus has a definite performance edge though, and that's battery life. The system lasted over four hours in our web browsing test, and that's actually quite good for a powerful 4K laptop. Overall, the ZenBook NX500J is a respectable engineering feat with some notable issues, but it's the price that really hurts it. Acer's Aspire V15 with 4K display is only $17.99, and a Retina MacBook 15-inch starts at $19.99 or $24.99 with the NVIDIA graphics option. You might find this ZenBook worthwhile if you edit high resolution photos and videos while traveling, but we can't recommend it generally unless it's hit with a price cut.